Even as the COVID-19 vaccine is being rolled out, experts say the U.S. is now in the most lethal phase of the outbreak since it started last year. The surge in cases comes as new strains of the virus are popping up around the world. Joining me now is Frederick Jenkins, the director of emergency department at Memorial Hospital. Good morning. Thank you for being with us. Good morning. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about this new COVID-19 strain and if it is affecting us here in Northeast Florida? Well, there's various uh, variant strains that have emerged both globally and in the United States. Um, the most uh, well-publicized strain is the B117 strain that originated in the United Kingdom and has shown up in the United States. Um, but there's other important strains that have arose in South Africa, Brazil, and researchers in Ohio have discovered strains that appear to have emerged in the United States. Right now, they make up a very small percentage of uh, all strains, but they potentially could become very important. What we know about these strains is that they don't appear to cause more serious disease. Um, however, they appear to be more transmissible, which is what makes them concerning, meaning it would be easier to spread and accelerate the new case count. Uh, one good bit of news about them is that the vaccines that we currently have appear to be effective against them, so that's a very good thing. And are we seeing any cases of these new strains here in our area? We've seen some cases nationally. Um, I am not aware of any cases immediately in our area, but it probably will happen. And what are we seeing when it comes to COVID-19 cases right now in Northeast Florida. Are we seeing a rise in COVID-19 patients? Absolutely. Um, we've seen a big rise uh, nationally as, as well as here. Um, the average disease count this past week nationally got up to about 250,000 cases a day for the seven day average. And locally, we uh, got up to around 150 to 900 cases uh, a day. Oh, did I can't hear. And what treatments are available for people with COVID-19? There is something new called BAM infusion. What is, what is that? Uh, BAM lenivimab is um, an, a monoclonal antibody infusion. And this is designed for patients who are ambulatory, meaning patients who are not yet sick enough to require hospitalization, but who are at high risk for developing serious disease. So um, high-risk patients would include anybody over the age of 65, patients who are 55 years or older who also have heart disease, hypertension, or COPD, um, or younger patients who have um, diabetes, a high body mass index, um, uh, chronic kidney disease, or who are immunocompromised. The way that the monoclonal therapy works is it mimics our own natural antibodies, meaning it attaches to the coronavirus and uh, thereby renders it ineffective. Um, what's important to know is that the, the data from the clinical trials suggests that patients who receive the BAM infusions are less likely to go on and progress and require hospitalization. And doctor, we were just seeing pictures of healthcare workers getting their COVID-19 vaccine. What has the response been like giving the vaccine to employees at Memorial? Oh, it's, it's been incredible. We, we've had an overwhelming success at Memorial given the, the vaccine. We've vaccinated a ton of, of our staff members and our providers. Um, I myself have gotten both of my doses of vaccine. Um, I, did, I did fine with it, a little bit of, a little bit of soreness in the arm, that's it. I uh, strongly encourage everybody, when, when it's your turn to get your vaccine, please go out and do it because that, in combination with all the things we're already doing, the masking, social distancing, avoidance of large crowds, that's how we're going to win. That's how we're going to beat this thing. So, uh, so Frederick Jenkins, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you.